Hello and welcome to Ukraine Today. My name is Peter Byrne with the Press Review. Today, we will take another look at articles about the appointment of foreigners appointed to help run Ukraine's government. The first piece appears on Vatican Radio. They write, among the cabinet members supporting Poroshenko's anti-corruption drive are three foreign-born ministers, including American Natalia Juresko, who has experience at the U.S. State Department. My experience understanding the situation gives me a chance, an aspiration, an inspiration to work on the good for Ukraine, she said. Claire Big takes an in-depth look at the biographies of all three new ministers. On Natalia Juresko, new finance minister, she writes, In 1995, Juresko left the United States Embassy to work for the Western NIS Fund an equity fund financed by the U.S. government, where she rose to the position of chief executive officer. Last but not least is a 1,200-word op-ed appearing on the BBC, authored by historian Anatole Levin, a professor at Georgetown University's School of Foreign Service in Qatar. He writes, if there is to be any chance of Ukraine in economic and political progress, a compromise must be found whereby Ukraine can continue to trade as openly as possible with both the European Union and Russia, and Ukrainians can continue to work freely in Russia. The time for blowhard posturing is over, and the time for economic calculation has begun. Whether that is possible, with or without foreign help, as Russia continues its invasion of Ukraine, remains an open question.